Well, guess what? I'm here editing a video. Check out the Japan site for some more information. And Nikon has a video up there about Plena. Remember there's a trademark some months ago? Let's watch the video and talk about it. Now, as you can see from the video, they don't go into too much about what this planner is. They show you a guy with a lens taking a photo, and then he's transported someplace. Then there's a whole bunch of lights. What does this mean? What is he looking at? We don't know. We've all speculated maybe it could be a name for a lens, a new lens mount, not a new lens mount, but uh, a new form of lens. And you, you know, in the next level, maybe a cinema lens or something. At least that was my storyline. Maybe they're doing something like that. Or I think I also said maybe it's a new software they're coming out with. We really don't know. You know, the speculation based upon Nikon entering the cinema space is that maybe they will be coming out with some kind of cinema camera that will rival Sony and Canon. We really don't know. But in the coming days, September 27th, we're going to find out what it is. I've been playing and replaying this video and checking out different sites to see videos. I noticed that Plena is actually written on the lens. So this now solidifies it in my mind that it's going to be a new line of lens. What do you guys think? Did you find that Easter egg in that video as well? I want to spend some time talking about it, what I think it is. As I looked at the lens, my first thought was, hmm, that seems to be a pretty big lens. It looks like the 85 1.2. But the more I looked at it, I'm like, no, it's not. The camera that the individual is using is actually a Z8. Looking at how it's held in his hand, we know the 85 is a big monster. Being a uh, big monster on a Z9, it will be even bigger on a Z8. So looking at the size of what he's holding in his hand, it definitely does not look like the 85 1.2. And this is a newer version that's coming out that's smaller. Who knows? Nikon coming up with this name Plena, we've speculated it in the past that it was based on a lens line. So maybe it is now that we've seen it written on the lens. It couldn't be anything else from the teaser video. It definitely seemed like it has to do with lens. And at the end, we see all the circles, the lights, and so on. It just could be reflection from a bunch of lens. So this tells me it's probably going to be more than one lens. It's probably going to be a lineup of lens. I thought about something. I don't think it's going to be a manual focus lens, but I looked at my Voigtlander uh, 58 1.2, and I'm thinking maybe Nikon is coming up with something smaller to utilize. Now, this lens is a 51.4. When you think about Nikon's 51.2, it's pretty massive. When you see a manual focus lens, typically without all the autofocus gear in and so on, they can make them smaller, put enough glass in there, make it good quality. And the price of the lens also goes down. So if Nikon has found a way to now make a different line of lens that's going to be somewhat smaller than their um, 1.2, you know, maybe it's a 1.4, I don't know. But it seemed like it's a whole new line of lens. The size of it seems manageable on a Z8. When I say manageable, I mean it's not a big bulky thing. I couldn't find anything about what the focal length is. So this is all a speculation in, in what I think it could be. But based upon the size of it, maybe it could be a 51.4. And again, that's probably just like a starting lens. I really don't know. It's again, speculation. But from the size of it, and what we know that's in Nikon's lineup right now, is there any 1.4 lens out there? There's 1.2, there's 1.8. 
2.8? Yeah, but 1.4, mm -mm. Being a new lens line, the fact that there is a logo on the lens tells me it's going to be a line of specialized lens. We were open for cinema lens. Will we get a cinema lens? Again, can't say for sure because we really don't know what this thing is, but maybe if Nikon is also doing a photo lens that you can double as a video lens, fast autofocus, fast tracking, because we know the 85 1.2, a lot of the people have been utilizing putting videos on it. They're like, this thing is really fast for videos. It's really good. It's, it's great. Over time, lens technology changes and things get better. As someone who's been shooting Sony and trying to figure out which lens to get when I first started, I remember I do my research and I talk about you know, the kind of motors that are inside of it. When they released the GM version, there was one set of motors and a GM2 makes it faster because, you know, we know Sony has pretty good autofocus. And one of the things I've been pushing later about the camera is that I like real-time tracking, real-time tracking. So the lens has to be quick enough to keep up with it without pulsing back and forth, but to steadily track you as you move along the frame or what to track your subject. So is Nikon going on that path as well? I would hope so especially now that we've seen what the zf can do and it's to me from what i've been seeing it seems to be their best video camera so far yeah the nikon z8 is great and i'm saying video you know forget codex i'm talking like autofocus tracking that kind of thing that sony's been giving us the z8 is great with the xp7 this new sensor that they have seemed to be working very well we still have to wait for actual user videos but from the people who have been utilizing it like matt granger who's been um along with them testing it because you know we see the teaser video it was matt inside the video so you know he's been part of the whole testing thing from who knows how many months ago when this thing started or years ago when it started so these guys were showing us these early pre-production cameras have been showing us what the performance is like with video and with um, photo side. So the tracking seems to be very good. Matt uh, Irwin also did some videos when he showed it utilizing the 7200 and a 1.4 teleconverter. I thought that was awesome. That was kind of the thing that kind of sold me on it. It's like I can throw my 2.8 on it, my 7200 2.8 in it and shoot some stuff if I don't want to carry this 8.8 on, around. So I'm, I'm excited. Damn. Now that I think about it, it's like, Nika, you can make me spend some more money on stuff. You know, I've been saying that I only have two Z lens. And I know if I go to the ZF, I'm definitely going to have to give up the FX30. I, I really don't want to, but Nikon is kicking butt. They're, they're, you know, knocking things out of the park with their new cameras. And if the new lens is going to be really great, I'm up for it. I don't know, you know, where the um, lenses start, wide angle, mid range. Do don't know. They want to show in one, and it, it looks good, just from the size of it on the Z8. But I'm thinking it's not going to be one. It's going to be a whole host of lens. Let me know what you guys think. I'm losing my voice. I've been recording video on and off all day, air conditioning on and off. So I apologize. You probably won't see much of me because I'm probably going to take a break and not record videos. I have a few things in the queue that should be coming out, so look forward to those. All right. See you.